Give me a top five Atlanta rappers. Top five. Top five. We got to go. Oh, I hate separating them. You got to go Andre 3000. Okay. You know what I mean? You got to go Amigos. I got to throw me myself in that. And you got to go. I should have said it right now. You got to go Gucci. got to go Gucci. You got to go Future. You got to go Pluto. You can't see this? Oh, uh, 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 you got to go Future. I want to say somebody y'all don't know, though, from Atlanta. Oh! Kilo. You know who Kilo is? Yeah. He's from Atlanta, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Kilo. I got to get a Kilo. Private dancer. See, yeah, yeah. Because that's what I listened to with my mom and them in the house growing up. And I don't never hear nobody ever acknowledge them. Acknowledge him. Kilo Ali. Mm -hmm. Nasty dancing. Pride, yeah. yeah. Dance up for money. I do they what I don't you... know nothing about that, though. <laughs> I, I used to hear that. I used to hear that. I used to hear that in my mama's house all the time. You had a, once had an issue with Joe Budden because he said something. Because you direct, as a matter of fact, as we sit here, you directed Cardi B's music video for the upcoming, I think, the song or upcoming album that she got. Uh, you had, I don't think he feeling it, but you had a run in with Joe before, correct? Yeah. We good? Yeah, we good with Joe. Man, Joe just be... I don't like how... Uh, I, I rock with Joe. Cause I done talked to him on some, on some man to man, but I just feel like he'll kick it with you and then kind of dog you out to the world. Right. You know what I mean? Now, it be hard for him to do that because it's like the credits don't be matching. Like the comparisons, the credits that he has don't right. be matching. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I mean, right. The credits that he got don't really, really be matching to right. like the people he he be getting on ass. Mm -hmm. But he do got a word, and sometimes he say some things that that it do make sense. But right. I didn't like how he was trying to shit on the females. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's an evolution, bro. You shouldn't say that the mm -hmm. the that it's dead. And then I don't want him to come for me either, like, cause I didn't talk to him. I ain't just down to. I just feel like I dis I, I disagree with your opinion with the female music. Right. Like they doing their thing. Why mm -hmm. why why shit on it? You know what I mean? Right. But we good. We good though. Yeah. No problem. I ain't got no problem with nobody. Let me ask you this. How do you, the criticism that comes along with it, how have you been able to develop thick skin? Because you know there been some criticism. I don't come from that though. Right. So I'm saying like, I didn't, I didn't thank God. Like I blew up in 2013 mm -hmm. where we were still, we had to get on the flow. We had to sell CDs. We had to put posters up. I come from doing that shows for 5,000 to 10,000 chitlin circuit. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't come from, damn, I blew up. My song blew up on Instagram. I'm a, and let me check my comments. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I just feel like your core fan base, as long as you got that and you successful, you moving. But you know, you do see stuff and you go through stuff, but I try to keep myself up out of that because that'll end up, it'll, it'll drive you crazy trying to like prove to these people. Because once they see that they can get to you, they just keep going. Yeah, they do. They, 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 it's like one, soon they touch, touch that nerve and you show they touch that nerve, they touch it throughout your whole thing. Like I be seeing now, like when people drop music, right? They like the next day, it's like trolls on there saying how many streams they got in 24 hours. When I come from your record growing, because when your record grow, it establishes you more. Right. Because you can have a number one record for one week and then it drop off the charts completely. And then that person who at 89 and they go to 69 and they go to 70, that mean they done been on the billboards for 12 weeks and they got up the top 20, top 10, and you had a number one and it fell right off the chart. I come from development music, like right. where it, every it, it, my first my first songs ain't go top ten on no Billboard, and I still was making my money, and people love me, and it, it's it's I feel like it's it's taken away from the artist's creativity. They ain't really because they so focused on like damn getting the answer. What my number gonna be? I don't be I ain't even checking that. But like, I feel like first week numbers is a way to downplay us to make us a less value in the game. Mm -hmm to like the big labels. Social media. Social media. What role do you think social media? Because you, like you said, there are people, sometimes people say things on social media that they would never say to your face. 
And sometimes people do things just to get other people in social media to click up with them. And like, yeah, you see what he said about such and such. He said this about offset. Well, he said this about this or about that. Are you, are you on social media like that? Or you just let it rock? I mean, I'm always watching, but I try not to bite the bait. You feel me? Like, try not to bite the bait, because as the artist, sometimes we... See, that's what I ain't going to do. I ain't going to bite the bait. I'm going to not. As a matter of fact, since you mentioned that, I'm going to get me some title clothes. Yeah. Now that you told me that yeah. right there, see, don't bite the bait. I'm going to get me some title clothes. You can't bite the bait, because once you bite the bait, and they might be saying the crazy shit, you bite the bait. And if you, when you realize it, like, damn, if I'm so small, soon you bite the bait, that motherfucker everywhere. Yeah. Soon you speak on something, it just flooded everywhere. It didn't, it didn't got big. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm a person too, though. Sometimes the super disrespectful shit, I just got to say something. Cause it be, cause sometimes it just be like too disrespectful. Like, it's been times, one time, like, they were doing some weird stuff with my kids. You mad at me that much that you gotta bring my kids and do like a fake little weird meme? I don't play that. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, now that's when I speak on it when it's like my family or like okay. my kids. You got some weird, nasty shit with my kid. Like, and it be fan bases that'll do that right. shit. And it's like, bro, come on, bro. Like, you, I, I say something to that, but most of the time I'm gonna ask. I got good people around me too, Shannon. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit my folks like, hey, bro. And they'll be like, don't say nothing. They'll talk me about it. I ain't just jumping the gun though. Right. Cause sometimes you'll just blow it up. Some people ain't even seen that. And then yeah. next thing you know, it's on every blog. It's like, I asked Savage about this, about dating privately versus publicly. And what's your thoughts on that? If you could do it over again, what are your, what are your thoughts on dating publicly versus dating privately? If I could do it again, mm -hmm. definitely privately, just so. Not let me say not so public. I mean not, not so, so public. public. Yeah. I mean not not so public because I like to show mine off. You know what I mean, but at the same time, folk be in your business and people judge you like just too much. Like you just too much into your 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 world and. And it deteriorates a lot of things, but that shit, man, it put a lot of pressure on folks and stuff right. like that. And everybody ain't not, everybody not really supposed to see your imperfections or your professions, you know what I mean? That's supposed to be, it's like a household thing. So I would definitely, more private. Mm -hmm. I read it also that you, you put the lean down. Yeah. Why do you feel that was important? It was bothering your health because I mean, what, what? I didn't have no health issues. It was bothering my relationships. You know what I mean? Yeah. My family, like, I hated that my mom would say, uh, just sometimes I don't feel like I'm talking to my son. Cause it, cause it, that, 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 that hurt. You know what I mean? Mm. You can't keep saying it, but so many times. And it wasn't her trying to like, but I, it was genuinely, I could see it in her eyes when she said, you can or, hear, you or, or when I used to be right there, just how like, and just sit and I just catch my mom, I peep her like, just looking at me and she try to look off. I knew I was disappointing my mama and disappointing my family. Mm. And it's the greatest thing I did though, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I got a clear mindset. I'm not, um, cause it, it have you like a little aggravated a little bit. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.